why ASML's chip printing machine dominance is essential for the entire world's technological advancements. It's no secret that the US government is worried about China's plans to make microchips. But to date, the Chinese have not been able to get their hands on an important machine made by only one company. Over 90% of the smallest and most sophisticated chips in the world are made by Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. TSMC's semiconductor chips are advanced enough to power refrigerators all the way to fighter jets. In other words, they are what make our civilization work. Lithography To fully understand the impact of ASML's technological advancements, it's important to consider the complex engineering involved in EUV lithography. The process of lithography is used by an ASML machine to create the tiniest lines on microchips. The machine utilizes a projection system to reduce and focus the pattern onto a silicon wafer. The wafer is then moved slightly and another copy of the pattern is printed on it, layer by layer, like building a complicated cake with up to 100 layers requiring nanometer precision. These wafers are coated with photoresist chemicals and then subjected to extremely precise rays of light projected through a mask of the chip's design. This process prints the minuscule designs on each layer of the wafer, resulting in billions of transistors that determine the chip's functionality. TSMC Today, ASML is the exclusive manufacturer of EUV lithography machines the most advanced type of equipment needed for making every single advanced processor chip we use. There are few organizations as extraordinary as this one in the world. Every machine it produces is one of the most complex devices ever built. TSMC, Samsung and Intel, the largest semiconductor companies, all depend on ASML's machines to produce advanced processor chips. With over 100,000 components in each of these machines, it takes an army for transport. 40 freight containers, 20 trucks and 3 Boeing 747s are the minimum to relocate a machine of this magnitude. A vital supplier of semiconductor chips to Chinese companies, ASML is also one of the largest suppliers in the world. In 2019, the Trump administration managed to convince the Dutch government that ASML's most sophisticated machines are not to be shipped to China. ASML is, however, still able to export some of its older technology to China. It's the deep ultraviolet DUV systems that are a generation behind the more advanced EUV systems. While DUV remains a common way to produce less advanced chips, 16% of ASML sales went to China in 2021, accounting for a revenue of $2.2 billion. A number of steps have been taken by Washington to limit China's chip-making advances. In order to receive billions of dollars in US subsidies to build new plants in America, chip companies must agree not to sell their most advanced chips to China under the recently passed CHIPS Act. ASML is also under pressure from the US government to stop transferring less sophisticated chip-making machines to China. In the event that Washington successfully blocks ASML's less sophisticated machines from China, China's semiconductor company, SMIC, could suffer significantly. In comparison to TSMC and Samsung, SMIC's semiconductor chips are only one generation behind, at 5 nanometers. It may still take China a decade to develop lithography equipment that could compete with ASML's if ASML's old lithography equipment becomes banned in China. While it is not impossible for China to develop its own lithography systems, it would be a challenge. And despite the fact that the laws of physics remain the same no matter the region, Peter Wenink warns that China will struggle to develop its own equipment to compete with ASML's. Nonetheless, he expects China to try in such a booming area of self-sufficiency. Philips a company that is a crucial player in the semiconductor industry, ASML, has grown tremendously in the past few years and is now worth more than Intel, the company's largest customer. In 1999, 15 years after it was founded, Peter Wenning, the company's CEO, 
joined the company as a subsidiary of the Dutch electronics giant Philips. ASML employs 32,000 people and is experiencing double-digit growth each year. As a young company, ASML was struggling financially and began its operation out of a leaky shed next to Philips' office in Eindhoven. The company's humble beginnings were tempered by the fact that in its first year, it introduced a lithography machine that printed tiny designs on silicon using precise rays of light, birthing the microchips manufacturing. As a first-generation lithography tool, the image was projected onto a wafer and held a reticle form, similar to a projector. ASML has consistently been able to develop increasingly sophisticated semiconductor chips with its machines. The use of precision lasers and molten tin create ultra-smooth surfaces. Brilliant! The advances in lithography technology made ASML's contributions a huge success in recent years. TSMC's adoption of extreme ultraviolet EUV, lithography early on has allowed them to stay ahead of their competitors. TSMC accounted for 40% of ASML's revenue last year as a result of this. The first EUV-compatible chips from Intel were only produced three years ago, three years behind TSMC. To catch up, they've invested in ASML's high numerical aperture, the firm's next machine prototype. That's all for today's video. How do you feel about this ongoing battle of semiconductors and microchips? Comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.